I was looking around, Mike. Yeah. There's, there's still a little fur from Parney's visit all around here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to clean up. But over there, there's not much because he like flew in and out of here. They like all the dust just went out with him. 33 days before opening day. But right now it's time for Hey, Watch This. Mike, kick yes. us off. Our story that we begin with is this one. An Indiana woman used to searching state sales for vintage bargains found a real humdinger, as the kids say, Greg. Uh, it set off a personal time warp dating back decades. Cheryl Bell was scrolling through a random estate sales wares on the Facebook when she suddenly saw herself. Among the vintage goods was a portrait Bell painted. Uh, uh, it was a, a portrait of her painted back in 1981. Uh, she was foggy on the details and has no idea how her portrait ended up in the home, but she quickly snatched up the for sale item and is now on a quest to solve the mystery of this trippy trip down memory lane. Wow. <laughs> you, you remember when you sat for your first painted portrait, don't you? 1946. Yeah, they put it up above the, the mantle there, in the oil. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> you had the little Scotty dog by your side. A monocle. <laughs> hey, you know the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, for one group in South America, listen to this. One man's trash is their musical instrument. It's an unprecedented concert featuring handmade instruments made from solid waste. The concert outside of a landfill in Bolivia is raising environmental awareness there, an awareness of an importance of the workers who collect the rubbish and trash. So far, Paraguay's Catera Orchestra of recycled instruments has performed in 51 countries around the globe, and they are growing and growing in popularity, Mike. Uh, those milk jugs are really <laughs> popular. We always joke with Mike Goldberg that whenever he does like the the Central Virginia Wind Symphony, yes. like washboard and spoons, we, we, we just need a small solo at like the middle of like sleigh ride or something like that. We've never heard back from Mike, have we? Yeah, do you know, do you know what he, he's always like, you know, hey, I have a song for you. If you guys want to show on up, and, you know, it, it's just the performance pressure. I, I can't handle that. No opening act or no closing act for Mike Goldberg. <laughs> and no audience for us, please. Uh, a large insect once thought to be extinct was spotted in the most unlikely of places. Outside an Arkansas Walmart, this is a giant lace wing. It's a species that existed during the Jurassic era. Uh, the director of Penn State's Insect Identifi uh, Identification Lab found one on a Walmart building in 2012, but he misidentified it at the time and only recently discovered its true identity. This is the first sighting of a giant lace wing in eastern North America in more than 50 years and the first record of one ever in Arkansas. Scientists don't know why the giant lacewing disappeared, but this discovery could mean there is a surviving population that evaded detection and extinction. Well, let's hope so. That's fantastic news. Yeah. Lacewing is like, man, the jig is up. <laughs> it's I've like been, I've been discovered. It's like I'm in the parking lot. What are there any deals in there? <laughs> Always low price. Out of all, <laughs> uh, all places in the world, like found them next to a tree, found them in a park. Now found them in a parking lot. At a Walmart. Yeah. That's where we hang out.